Hello students, hope you are doing well. The agenda for today's lecture is Structure Based Drug Designing Using Molecular Operating Environment Software. In this lecture, we will learn about how to uh, modify a ligand to better work as a um, drug and evaluate the docking complex. If you do not know how to use the docking module of the molecular operating environment software, then you should refer to the routine ligand docking using the molecular operating environment lecture. So now let's get started and see how we do that. Click on the pile and open button. Now from here you can browse the docking complex that you have saved. So I have saved it here in the MUE structure based drug designing. So here you can see this is the uh, docked complex that I will be using. So if you click on here on the CWD button the current working directory. So the next time you browse, you will be in the same path. Now click on OK. And when you click on OK, this window will pop up. And you have to select the biomolecule assembly. Make sure you have selected the one chain, one one chain assembly. And now click on OK. So here you can see this is the APL kinase receptor with the um, amanitib ligand docked in it. So we will click on the uh, side view on the right hand side tab. So here you can see this is the ligand and this is the receptor active site. So now we will click or we have to close this uh, ribbon. So go to the system and click on this button. Now here you can see the red dot in the square. Click on the red dot in the square and you see the uh, ribbon has disappeared. Now we have to change the colors so that we can differentiate between the ligand and the active site of the ABL kinase receptor. So I will color the receptor as green and I will change the color of the ligand to white. Now you can see these are, this is the ligand and these are the uh, active site residues of the uh, ABL kinase. So now let's uh, move on to uh, look at the 2D structure of this uh, ligand. So click on the ligand in 2D molecules. Here you can see the 2D uh, image of the ligand molecule. So here you can see that um, uh, for that we have to check the topology of the ligand. For that you need to study the literature uh, to know about the bond angles, the bond length, the different atoms, the rings that are in the uh, ligand. So I have studied the uh, ligand and what I know, I, what I can see here in this uh, 2D image is that all the bond lengths and bonds are good and we have only one problem that is here in the piperazine ring and that is the protonation problem. So I need to fix this uh, protonation problem else the ligand is good to go with. So I will close this button. And now before we move on to the quick preparation and energy minimization first make sure that Umberton EHT uh, force field is selected. If that is not selected by default you can click on it and from here you can select the Umberton EHT uh, force field. In the solvation tab you have to click on the uh, R field and then click OK. But in this case the Umberton EHT is selected by default so I will close this. So now we will move on to the uh, quick preparation. The quick preparation what actually do is that uh, it uh, uh, fix the protonation, it fix the bond angles and all other uh, things and the inaccuracies in the structure. So I will click on the quick prep and then uh, click on OK. Leave all the other uh, settings by default. OK. So now this will take a little time. So uh, till that we will tell you about the interaction of this ligand with the active site residues that where the ligand is interacting with what active site residues. So for that we will click on the ligand and ligand interactions. In ligand interaction map you can see here the how the uh, ligand is interacted and in, uh, to with what with what amino acids in the ABL kinase receptor active site it is uh, interacting. You can see the legend here. It describes all what is in this uh, picture. Here you can see in case of the uh, amanitib, a threonine 315 is uh, mutated to isoleucine and that is what causes uh, the resistance to the amanitib uh, drug. So here you can see this threonine 315 is replaced by uh, isoleucine 
and that is why the emanatip is not working and that is what we are do, going to do that we will modify this emanatip to work accordingly if you need this uh, image for your uh, further use you can click on export and here the file format that you want the tip the png jpeg etc and then and the pixels and the dpi etc that is actually the resolution and then export so you will get the picture and then you can use it in your publication so this is uh, the protein ligand interaction now we will close that and we will wait for this a uh, quick prep to complete so now you can see the quick prep is completed and now we will uh, move on to the so we need to see where the hydrogens are so the hydrogens have disappeared here and the hydrogen you can see and click on it show polar hydrogen so we need to see the polar hydrogens so these are the polar hydrogens so now what we need to do is that uh, we need to do the contacts the contacts of the ligand with the receptor so here in the footer section you see the contact button click on it and you can see this option here is a two dot and a bar in the middle this bar indicates the strength of the uh, receptor and the bond angle the hydrogen bond here you can see let me zoom in for you so that, that can be uh, clear so now you can see uh, the this bar is lengthy this is the hydrogen bond between the lichen and the receptor and this is the other uh, hydrogen bond between the receptor and the uh, lichen here you can see this bar this blue bar and this hydrogen bond is small compared to this one this length of the bar indicates the strength of the uh, hydrogen bond that means that this uh, bond is stronger than this and you can see that uh, here now if i click on the contact and i cli click on once so here now you can see it is uh, showing the interaction energy the interaction energy is minus 5.1 and minus 0.9 the more we have the value in the minus the more better it is so here you can see the difference that minus 5.1 is uh, way lower than minus 0.9 that shows that this strong uh, this uh, bond is better and uh, strong this than this one in the contacts if you click again here you can see this is the uh, distance uh, given in angstroms 3.64 angstrom distance between the uh, interacting residues of both the ligand in the uh, active site and here you can see the 2.17 angstrom in the uh, active site uh, residue in the ligand so as in chemistry we all know that uh, the less the uh, distance of the bond is the stronger the bond so now here you can see um, that uh, what are the bond angles what are there how which bond is stronger than what and in this case now we will zoom out click on the side view and we will come back to the default now let's move on to the ligand and ligand r vector what the ligand r vector function do is that it shows us where we can add uh, where we can uh, do the modification that will not uh, produce wonder wall uh, clashes so here you can see only one uh, area is given this green arrow here shows let us zoom in here you can see this green arrow uh, shows that here the ligand can be modified that will not uh, produce any uh, interaction I'm sorry the wonder wall clashes so by default here you can see let me show you quick prep here you can see the r vector uh, two kilocalorie mole uh, wonder wall clash so it it shows us the region where uh, a wonder wall clash of more than two kilocalorie per mole will not be produced 
so here only we have only one position where uh, it will not produce uh, a van der Waal clash more than uh, 2 kilocalorie per, per mole. So now let's get back to our site view. So from that uh, quick prop window uh, you can uh, change if you uh, like that to 3, 4, 5 or whatever suits your uh, study. So now we will uh, move on to the surface and uh, interaction wonder wall. So now what this map do is that uh, it will show you the region around the uh, ligand where you can introduce uh, uh, any modifications or any other uh, thing to the ligand and it will not produce the uh, wonder wall uh, clashes. If you go beyond uh, this green net and it's something that comes out of this net that will produce the wonder wall clashes and that is not good so here it shows us the region where we can uh, do the modification so now come back to the surface and clear